Yo, what's up everybody? Like I was saying, I had some people that wanted to pray for me. I guess they want to pray for me because I look humble or some shit. You know, because I be looking humble. I, you know, I be dressing modest. I, you know, I dress like a regular person. So I, I be sitting down trying to sell my books. So I guess they figured they need to pray for me. But I bet you if I was a drug dealer or some shit with a bunch of gold chains on, they wouldn't want to pray for me. They want to pray for me. Like I told you, if, if praying really helped, if praying really helped, people would keep them shits for themselves and they'd be trying to sell them. They would keep all their prayers for themselves and they'd be trying to sell them shits. They'd be trying to barter with them, sell them, trade them. Yeah, I mean, I, they'd be wanting to trade their prayers. Trade their prayers in for a new pair of clothes or a new house or some shit. If praying worked. Praying just gives you wishful thinking. That's all that shit do. That shit don't work. It's, it, it scientifically, scientifically does not work. That's why they want to pray for you. Praying work, it would keep them shits for themselves. If religion, if religion and God can really help people, white people would have kept that shit for themselves. The guy got mad. Somebody mad. I'm talking about, I'm talking about white people. Well, it was white people that wanted to pray for me. Three groups. It was three groups. They want to pray for me. Young white people. And people feel to realize they, they feel they want to they want to pray for black people, but they don't know it because the Bible called black people heathens. The main reason the work the main reason black people are hated all over the world is because of the Bible. That's why black people are hated all over the world because of the Bible. The Bible is the first they call us heathens, said we we should be slaves and all that other shit, indirectly or directly. Black people are slaves, no good. We was cursed. We just see the ham and all that other shit. That was the first way to spread hate was using the Bible. You didn't have TVs back then. You didn't have newspapers. So it had to be, the, it was the Bible. And like I said, all slaves had rights. There were three ways you could become a slave. You were religious persecution, in debt, or you were a prisoner of war. Then color became the new veritable. And once color became the new veritable, the Pope abandoned a, uh, a slave's well-being because slaves had rights. Like I said, the Pope looked out for slaves. But once black people became slaves, the Pope turned his back on black people. And the Bible is the main reason the world hates black people. It was the Bible first and then everything else added on later. That's why. So the more black people talk about they love Jesus, the more people white, the more white people feel like you need Jesus. White people feel like you need all that shit. You need it, but they don't need it. That's why they give us all that shit, the religion. They gave us Christianity. Europeans never went nowhere in the name of peace to spread. They went never went nowhere in the world to spread peace in the name of religion. They want to take over. Everywhere they go, they go to take it over. They don't go to bring peace. That's what they go for. And like I told you, if the religion, if religion can really help people, white people would have kept that shit for themselves. They keep that shit and sell it. <laughs> they sell it. You need how many gods you need today? They be selling that shit, selling it, and trading it in. Yo, what's up, everybody? These are my books. Get a copy. This one is called Don't Beat Your Children or They'll Turn Out Like Me. This one is called Corner Stores in the Middle of the Block. And this one is called Agitation Gets the Dirt Out. Get a copy. Hit me up on my cash app. Dollar sign, number one, Brad Bathgate. And I'm going to see myself. Or check me out on Amazon. Peace.